Hello everyone. Welcome to Lie Experts. Welcome to the session on Geography through Maps. In the previous video, I did all those aspects with respect to India in detail. Now, with respect to international relations, some important places that are in news will be covered in this particular video. Now, I have two important points to tell you. One, I am going to cover from June 2019 to almost August 2020. Before that, there are some issues which are important and that are covered in the previous year video. For example, India's strategy to counter China is being explained in previous video where I have told about different ports which India is developing in different parts of the world. I'm not going to repeat that in this video as well. Yes, I'm just trying to tell you last year geography through maps video is also important for you. Just go through that once. I will be covering mostly the issues which were relevant after June 2019. So to begin with, the first most important area that I am interested to know is with respect to Siberia. Many people are confused about this. Please understand, Russia is part of both Europe and Asia. So, both Europe and Asia are continuous geographically. It is separated by Ural Mountains, Ural River, Caspian Sea. Right, guys? Ural Mountains, Ural River, and Caspian Sea. Prime Minister Modi visited Siberia. South Korea has ambitions to develop good relations here. Japan is planning to develop good relations in this region. China has already developed very good relations in this particular part. And recently, China tried to claim Vladivostok place of Siberia as well. And this region is rich in oil and natural gas. Most importantly, we should be aware about this Kamchatka Peninsula and Kuril Islands. Yes, Japan and Russia has dispute over this Kuril Islands. So where is it located? East Asia. Very, very important. Next, you have Sakhalin Island. Now, in this Sakhalin Island, it is believed that there is oil and natural gas and Indian OVL, ONGC Videsh Limited, has investments in this particular island. Recently, when Russia wanted to develop Eastern Siberia, India has given $1 billion in credit to this particular region. So, Siberia is very, very important for us. Vladivostok, Kuril Islands, Sakhalin and Kamchatka Peninsula. And I want you people to know, in this particular region, the river which actually separates Russia and China is your Amur River. We normally say that Amur River almost moves parallel to Russia and China. Moreover, China has invested in pipelines which will bring oil and natural gas 
from Siberia to China. You can see this particular part. China has two pipeline routes. Recently, the pipeline which has been constructed and where they have started the operation is this particular one. Can you see operating gas pipeline? Then you have this pipeline as well, power of Siberia pipeline, which is entering into China, one route. So Mongolia eastern side, you have oil and natural gas entering into China. And at the same time, you have another pipeline, which is moving from the north pole that is almost towards arctic to china on the western side of china so because of these india is also interested to invest in this particular part i hope it makes sense to you and i want you to know mongolia is a country which do not like China much and Mongolia normally tries to be a very good friend of US and today they want India's support. Prime Minister Modi visited Mongolia and Mongolia has lot of uranium which India is trying to get from them but Mongolia called Dalai Lama on one of the occasions, China was very angry about it and they blocked Mongolia completely. At that time, Mongolia requested India to reduce dependency. Suddenly, whenever any country puts block, the major effect will be on oil and natural gas. So, India has invested in opening an oil and natural gas refinery, oil refinery in Mongolia, especially in Saint Shand region of Mongolia. When we invest in this particular part, it has reduced dependency of Mongolia on China for its oil and natural gas. Mongolia has hailed India's investment in this particular part and today when we talk about necklace of diamond strategy where India is trying to encircle China then Mongolia is also part and this particular place is very very important for us then you can see this Mongolia Japan, we do not have port, but we have good relations. The Nang port of Vietnam is given as naval base for India. Changi port in Singapore is the naval base. Indonesia has given us Sabang. Assumption Islands, we are talking with Mauritius as well. Chabar port, which may go into the hands of China as well, because China recently had a very big agreement with Iran. Dakum port of Iran is, sorry, Oman is also under India's control. So, this is called as uh, necklace of diamond strategy. But the relevance of this matters a lot. As we analyze, things are completely different. But the strategy is very, very important to counter. String of pearls strategy of China. So, after this, Maybe because of Wuhan, virus, Corona and other stuff, it is very, very important for us to know some of the provinces of China. So not everything is possible for us to remember, but see here, this Hubei province, if I'm not wrong, Hubei province is where your Wuhan is actually located. You can see Beijing, right? 
Shanghai. You might have heard about Uyghur Muslims who are basically present in Xinjiang region of China. And the oil and natural gas from Siberia is normally entering into your Mongolia and Heilong Jiang. Not required. This is very, very important. Xinjiang, Hubei province. And remember, guys, Hong Kong is in news. So, Guangdong of China is closer to Hong Kong, which is very, very important for us. Taiwan is also very, very important for you. I'll explain about Taiwan and other important things that you need to know. Just to show you some of the provinces. Yunnan province of China is closer to Myanmar. So just be aware about the Yunnan province. Tibet, you will be aware. Xinjiang because of Uyghur Muslims issue. Now, North Korea is in news for multiple reasons, guys. And I hope you are aware about that as well. It may be with respect to the recent issue or the agreements between North Korea and US. So now, I have been telling this for long, but still, it is China, South Korea and Russia which has border with North Korea. This zone is known as DMZ, demilitarized zone. And at the same time, this is called as 38th parallel. Called as 38th parallel. On one side, you have Sea of Japan, and on the other side, you have the LOC. You have Korean Strait, which normally separates Korea from Japan. Clear, guys? These are extremely important places for us. Clear? North Korea, if you can observe this and analyze this, it should be more than enough. Next to most important thing for us about the Japan is, see here, I have Japan and I have four islands of Japan, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku and Kyushu. Four islands in order, they may ask you to arrange from north to south, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, Kyushu. And within this, some islands and some places are important. Yes, this is your Kuril Islands that I was talking, which was disputed. Sapporo is the most important place of Hokkaido. Sendai framework with respect to disaster management, you might have heard. But more important for me is about the Kobe and Osaka, the processes which are going on, Osaka track and other things in news. Uh, I want you to remember about the Hiroshima, right? People were actually talking about 75th year of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Just try to see this once. Japan, they have asked multiple times. And this year, Indo-Japan relationship is in news for multiple reasons. So it's very, very important for us to complete this as well. So these are your Kuril Islands that you have, right? Next. So I was about to talk about Taiwan, right? So Taiwan is separated from Fujian region of China and you have Taiwan Strait on one side, Philippine Sea on the other side, East China Sea above and South China Sea below. See guys, if they ask you to the east of Taiwan, East China Sea is there, 
to the west of taiwan south china sea is there people will tell yes because they won't be remembering it accurately so it's very very important for you to see each one of this remember few regions are in news like china israel iran afghanistan repeatedly people were talking about it for multiple reasons it may be right or wrong so please try to ensure you are going through each one of this properly hong kong guys so i just want you to know sham chun river separates mainland china with hong kong least possibility of asking but as hong kong is in news for multiple reasons so it's better for you to look at this as well clear next now this is in news for quite a long time but again us and chinese activity in this has increased i want you people to know vietnam claims parcel island spartley islands philippines claim scarborough shoal spartley islands see china malaysia malaysia from this side has some claims vietnam brunei philippines taiwan i'll write it down please understand which countries has border china vietnam malaysia brunei philippines taiwan and all these countries have problem in south china sea vietnam is a very good friend of india remember guys vietnam is a very good friend of india and they have given the nang port to india so that we can guard this particular region right then philippines india is planning to some weapons to them taiwan is a very good friend of us so with the help of taiwan us is trying to fight china brunei and malaysia are in between like you know uh, you cannot say they are abruptly against anyone philippines is also tilting on the basis of the investments from china but i just want you to know spartley islands parcel islands scarborough shoal is very very important for us and to ensure that china will reduce its dependency on strait of malacca it is trying to cut this part like you know they are trying to cut the land there and if they cut the land gulf of thailand and andaman sea will be connected and this part will be called as isthmus of kra right it's not kra peninsula it is isthmus of kra so it is in this particular part that they normally try to cut so that rather than moving around this particular part i repeat rather than moving around this particular part that is strait of malacca china can directly go through this india is also supporting this project because uh, india can also get access to this uh there are some straits which are very very important i just want you to know strait of malacca malaysia and indonesia in indonesia this is your sumatra and see the entrance point of this is the port indonesia has given to india and exit see if india is coming from here this is your entrance and this will be your exit and exactly at this point you have the changi port given by singapore 
so india is able to actually uh, like you know what do you call guard the entry of strait of malacca and also exit of strait of malacca for china if it is coming from this side india is capable of stopping them in these two regions indian navy is present in this particular part i have already told you whenever it is observation like you know so if uh, another navy is able to watch me is a sort of fear and this was the region where i talked about the isthmus of kra and another area through which you can get access to south china sea is sunda strait and it is believed that indonesia is in talks with india over this particular part as well and india may get access to the sunda strait as well so that means typically if any country is passing through these regions to south china sea then they will be under the gaze of india other countries are not worried about it but china is second most important thing india us uh, south korea and australia as well we are trying to have some agreements logistics agreement where india can have access to their ports and they can have access to our naval ports so if that becomes a reality then it would be a joint mission by each one but india has also told that uh, in the last minute also they can say no so it's not like if we have signed an agreement it is applicable it can vary as well so that's another point that is very very important for you next uh this historically there is a lot of evidences where india and myanmar have always tried to collaborate now you are aware that there is forest rivers and mountains in the northeastern border of india and myanmar but both the countries have agreed to move transport in certain areas and one such region is your tamu more region more in manipur tamu in myanmar similarly you have zokavrar in mizoram and rikhaudar in myanmar so in these routes india and myanmar are trying to have trade uh, people to people movement is being observed so any goods if it is being carried and all it will be in this particular part and uh, india has also got access to the sitwe port the kaladan river multi nodal which i have told multiple times again i'm just telling you right so i feel somewhere myanmar and india may be asked and remember guys in this particular part you have chin rebellions so the meaning of chin rebellion means what uh, there are some communities in myanmar who are supported by china and they attack the infrastructure projects which india is trying to connect with myanmar and thailand so you can see this is a trilateral highway you can see thailand mysore region so from where from more or uh, zukauthar it actually tries to pass through this we actually call this as imt that is indo myanmar thailand trilateral highway it actually passes through this so if at all they ask you which are the places they connect you just need to talk about them but i just want you to know these chin rebellions were trying to attack infrastructure projects which were constructed by india and uh, indian government in 2019 attacked these chin rebellions and after that these chin rebellions are quiet so the air strikes which india conducted in pakistan were conducted in myanmar as well 
So it's very, very important for you to note this as well. One country which is in news, mainly because of US sanctions, is your Iran. So repeatedly I have told you, but again, I will be talking about few things that you should know. Geographically, Iran has border with Caspian Sea, Persian Gulf, Gulf of Oman. Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman is separated by Strait of Hormuz. Find Strait of Hormuz is very, very important. Then, if anyone from the Persian Gulf, if they have to cross Strait of Hormuz is very, very important. And if there is any attack on Iran, then there is high possibility that Iran will block this particular part. Second, what is more important about Iran is Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Turkey, Iraq has border with Iran. Just try to see which countries have border with Iran. And as you are aware, the port that India has developed is Chaba. Actually, India had plans to construct road and railway still here. Then it will go till your Zarang, then to Afghanistan. So this was another road and railway route by passing Pakistan. India wanted to enter into Afghanistan. Clear guys? So, remember, in this particular part, that is northern part, oil and natural gas is actually found in Iran. And uh, India has invested in this particular part. So that uh, INSTC, that is your Russia, Azerbaijan, Iran, it comes to Bandar A, Abbas or Chabar. From there, it can come to New Delhi. So, that's the plan. So just try to know some places with respect to Iran. You see guys, Chabar port to Zahedan, Zahedan to Zaranj, Zaranj to Dalaram. So Zaranj to Dalaram, that is Iran border to Afghanistan was constructed by India. Uh, but this Chabar port to Zahedan, the talks are going on who should be doing and all and China today is planning to take up this project with Iran. The next most important country is Afghanistan. You might have heard about the Taliban talks. India was not called to the talks mainly because they told that Afghanistan doesn't have border with India technically because it is occupied by Pakistan even when India protested against this. The countries wanted to avoid India mainly because Pakistan was not in favor of India being part in the talks and India was not supporting talks with Taliban. So they avoided India. And uh, because of that, there can be a possibility of question about which countries have border with Afghanistan. It is Pakistan, India, you should say India has border. Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Iran. See guys, Iran, Pakistan, India, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Very, very important. Next, can you see this Harikud river? It is in this particular area, India has constructed the dam. I also want you people to know the Garland Highway of Afghanistan. It is Herat, Kandahar, Kabul. And can you check here the Zaranj to Dalaram Highway that India is planning to construct is going to connect to the Garland Highway. So it's very, very important for us to know this Garland Highway. 
So where is Garland Highway present? It is in Afghanistan. It's a direct question. After that, Central Asia and India is very, very important. It's always idle. Uh, see, one is ASEAN countries and Central Asian countries always before going to exam. Just check the capitals and arrange them from west to east. That's more than enough. And just check the countries around Caspian Sea. That should be enough. See, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Azerbaijan, Iran. So, one student was telling, so we can remember it as Iraq. Turkmenistan, Iran, Russia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan. However you want to remember, just ensure that you remember this particular part. Uh, the place Baku is very, very important because of the summit that occurred there. So, Ukraine and Russia had a fight in Sea of Azov, especially near Strait of Kerch. A Ukrainian ship was blasted and uh, please remember this part is your Crimea, which is captured by Russia and that's the reason. Russia is out of G8. Sea of Azov and Black Sea is separated by Strait of Kerch. Moreover, Turkey and US are fighting. Turkey and Russia is becoming close. So why is Turkey very, very important? See, today, I told you in the previous one, Russia is getting access to Black Sea, Sea of Kerch and Black Sea. Now you see what's happening. Once they enter into Black Sea, they can go to, like, you know, straight Sea of Marmara. So, Black Sea and Sea of Marmara is separated by Strait of Bosphorus. Very, very important. Sea of Marmara and Aegean Sea is separated by Strait of Dardanelles. Are you getting the point? Black Sea and Sea of Marmara is separated by Strait of Bosphorus. Marmara Sea and Aegean Sea is separated by Strait of Dardanelles. Clear? So, these are very, very important for us. Why? See, historically, Russia has access to Mediterranean Sea through Black Sea. Only through this they can reach Europe or Asia. Else they have to go around the Norway, Sweden, Baltic Sea, English Channel and all which is very far. Turkey was an ally of US and it was a major non-NATO ally. So, like you know, as it is a major friend of US, so US controlled the movement of Russia. But today, Turkey is getting missiles, your S-400 missiles from Russia. And they are becoming a very good friends because of the Syrian crisis, ISIS issue and Kurdish issue. Now, if Russia and Turkey are good friends, then Russia slowly will gain control over this particular part. And Russia will have dominance in this particular part. It is revival of Cold War if we observe in this particular region. So, one country which is repeatedly in news is your West Bank, Israel guys, West Bank and Gaza Strip. Uh, US actually told that Jerusalem will be the capital and it also told that Golan Heights now will be part of Israel. Actually, Golan Heights was part of Syria and uh, Israel actually captured them in the war. It was disputed and US today has recognized that it is part of Israel. And what Israelis have done? Over a period of time, they have sent Jewish community to this particular region and ensured that, uh, like you know, this region or in this region, Jews are more than Syrian tribes. So, 
now they are claiming on the basis of demographic change similarly like you know israel is in news because of bombing of the gaza as well but just remember west bank jerusalem gaza golan heights where are they present they present in west asia or middle east and israel has border with dead sea gulf of aqaba and it also has border with mediterranean sea so previously i have told lot about which countries has border with mediterranean sea and you might have heard recently about the beirut accident i doubt they will ask you because cushion paper would definitely be set up before that uh, but still like you know lebanon has border with mediterranean sea and it was in this particular part where there was an attack lebanon has border with israel syria right israel syria and mediterranean sea uh in yemen there was a shia group called as houthis and these houthis tried to attack the oil wells of saudi arabia in upkeek and kuraiz riyadh so upkeek kuraiz riyadh i don't know how you pronounce it i'm extremely sorry so it is these three regions they may ask you match the following the place and they may ask you in which country it is present wrongly matched or so but this is very very important for you right guys so riyadh kuray soil field bukaya just try to remember is djibouti is the extension of a desert and very very important place 100% sunni muslims and today they are important because they are present near the opening of the red sea especially near uh, can you see this is your red sea and this is gulf of aden in this particular part we call bab el mandab strait so if i move this side i will get suez canal if i move this side i'll enter into arabian sea everyone wants to control this particular part china has invested in this particular region abok like you know where uh, it is believed that china has given almost around 100 billion dollar and djibouti has allowed for the naval base here india was also interested to be present in this particular part but india was not in a position to fund in this region with france india recently got an agreement where we can get access to their ports and uh, in djibouti french had an port and uh, india may get access to them guys uh, there can be a question very rarely earlier they used to ask now this part is known as horn of africa and among these which countries is land locked can be asked very interesting question for upsc earlier they used to ask this a lot eritrea is having opening to red sea djibouti babel mandab as i told somalia and somali land is in gulf of aden uh, in somali land taiwan is interested and they are investing china is also investing in this particular part so can you see ethiopia at this baba region this is land locked eritrea djibouti somalia and ethiopia please remember ethiopia is land locked very very important question and uh, there were a group of countries for which india tried to have one single uh, what do you call as uh, embassy we call vanilla islands because we get we import vanilla flavor from them reunion of france mauritius seychelles comoros moyetti so these islands india is planning to have one single embassy and we are planning to develop very good relations with this particular countries indian investments are also increasing so reunion mauritius comoros moyetti seychelles is because of brexit uk has gained significance uk includes england 
Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. So this is your Republic of Ireland which is a separate country and it is part of European Union. Whereas these are different. So UK is separated from Europe by English Channel and which part of Europe? France. So UK and France or England and France is separated by English Channel. Republic of Ireland and UK is separated by Irish Sea. On one side you have North Sea and Atlantic Ocean. So just try to remember, I don't think there can be a question, but I hope this can be a very good question, English Channel. So Australia had forest fires, especially in this particular part, bush fires we say, and uh, summer season because of the climatic factors. Just look at the cities present in this particular part. Geographically, they may ask you questions rather than map based, but just to tell you that it was important. Uh, Amazon Basin or Selvas is in news and guys, Venezuela, Maracaibo, which has world's largest oil and natural gas is always important for you. And uh, Galapagos Islands is under the control of Ecuador. It was also in news because of the oil spill and other issues. Uh, Canada and US are having some border problems because of the COVID crisis and what separates them is 49 degree north, 38 degree between North Korea and South Korea, 49 degree north between Canada and US. So in this particular part you have the river called as Rio Grande River which again I have told multiple times and uh, this year, there were few dead bodies floating in this river because Mexicans who were trying to cross were not allowed. So guys, these are some of the major things that you should be aware. I want you to know that at La Excellence, we are providing different optionals. I myself will be teaching you geography optional. If you or your friends are interested, online classes are also available. You can avail them. Uh, La Excellence is also providing online classes now. So we will be continuing the classes in future as well. For next year students, if anyone is interested, you can definitely suggest them. Uh, online classes have improved way lot and uh, we are enjoying teaching online compared to offline. Uh, the main reason is we can show certain things and all. So there is no quality compromise in that. So guys, all the best for your exam. If there is anything further, we'll let you know. The same videos are available in Canada as well. You can watch them. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. <laughs>